Now the Jinjin Mule is a modern classic, but can you dress it up and take it anywhere? My name is David Edwards and welcome to Booze Under Rocks. Now, when you look at the build of this cocktail, it looks very, very similar to the original Moscow Mule. Because in 2000, at the Pegu Club, Audrey Sanders took that cocktail, took out the vodka, slammed in a dry style gin, and created a whole new cocktail that took off just because it was right at that time that gin was coming through the roof. And that cemented its place in history as a fantastic gin cocktail. However, the version that we're going to make today has been created by Suchi.Aki on Instagram, and he's from Germany. And he dressed it up and it looks fantastic, but is it any good, and do we really want to try it? Absolutely, I want to try it. Let's do a few do. So what we're going to do first is take a look at the spirit that we're going to use today, which is Empress 1908 Gin. It's 42.5% ABV, and it's created in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Now this is a five ingredient cocktail. It's still really, really simple to make, but there are some slight changes. We're not building it in the glass today. Instead, we are going to shake part of it. So grab your shaking glass. And what we'll do is we will start with some mint leaves. Now the recipe calls for anywhere between six to eight mint leaves, but that's depending on your size. So, and mine are really, really big. So I'm just going to work with five of them today. And what we'll do is we will just give these a smack and drop them in like so. Now that you've done that, do not muddle them. The reason for that is they're going to be shaken, so it's already going to get bruised. You don't need to pulverize the mint because that'll release bitter notes. But the next ingredient we're going to add is simple syrup. And we're going to start with a total of one ounce, which is 30 milliliters. Now your next ingredient will be a little bit of lime juice. So what we'll do is we'll grab a lime and then we'll just Cut it in half and squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters into the glass. Now at this point, you're gonna be looking at me kind of strange because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shake this with a little bit of crushed ice. Normally you would add the gin first, but today we're not doing that. We don't need a lot. We just, you know, about half the glass. And this will break up the mint just a little bit and bruise it and release all those mint flavors. So you just wanna make sure that you smack this on really good, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of anywhere between six to eight mint leaves. Put that off to the side and grab your glass of choice. In this case, I am using a rocks glass. And we're gonna fill this up about halfway with crushed ice. And like I said, this cocktail looks fantastic. It was dressed up in a certain way. And I'm just not sure if I'd prefer to have shaken more of the ingredients together. Having said that, what we are going to do now is fine strain this mixture directly in here. All right, that looks really, really good. Now our next step here is to add in our ginger beer. Now I'm using a Jamaican style ginger beer. And interestingly enough, this is the smallest size of ginger beer I could get. So I guess I'm just gonna have to drink a bunch of these. Now you need to add one to two ounces. The directions say to top it, but to leave enough space for the gin. So we'll add in maybe an ounce. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Now we're at our final ingredient, but what we need is our butterfly pea infused gin. Now I'm using Empress 1908 here. And what we're going to do is just layer on about an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Oh, look at that. She does look oh so pretty. Now what we're going to do is garnish this with a little bit of mint. We'll just smack it like so, and then just put it in the back just like this. And this is a dressed up ginger mule. Let's give it a try. Mm. I get a mouthful of gin. The gin is really, really good. I get the smell of the mint, but I'm not getting anything else. Let's give this a little bit of a stir just to see what we get. Oh, and look at that color. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. The gin, the ginger bill, the mint is right there. and You get those subtle hints of lime. 
In fact, I suggest that you shake it all together, except for the ginger beer, and then put it on your rice. Now, if you really, really like this, I suggest you take a look at the Demon's Head cocktail right here, because you'll really like that.